Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 2023 is basically gone now. And want to do, of course, the typical roundup video and just kind of give more, I guess, personal thoughts about the year. Um, what a year it's been for Yu-Gi-Oh! We're not going to do the intro or nothing. I, I just wanted to have a sit-down talk with you guys um, just about this year because as the title says it's been a roller coaster and wow just wow I mean I can't even think of all of the things that have happened in Yu-Gi-Oh this past year because so much has happened both good and bad uh, for me personally some great things that happened was you know the channel blew up to over a thousand subscribers. I really took YouTube seriously this year. I really got on the grind. Sorry about that little pause there. There was a car backfiring like a rocket launcher outside my window. <laughs> um, but I really feel like I accomplished a lot this year. The channel's blown up to over a thousand subscribers, currently sitting at 1,356 subscribers. And my cancer treatment, my VHL, my Von Hippel Lindau disease, as it is called, is doing really well. I know I haven't really promoted it a lot lately, but I did write a book about my diagnosis and about my life and things that I've been through. Link to that is always down in the description. I just haven't really promoted it lately because I did it for like constant for like over a month and I'm sure people got tired of it, so I stopped promoting the book. But if you ever look in the description, you can go to Amazon and buy my book. It's digital only because... Amazon basically wanted to rob me blind uh, if I did a physical book. So we're going to get a physical book at some point down the line. But right now, Kindle edition, digital, $9.99, American dollars. I don't know what that translates to in your country if you're outside of the U.S., but you can still get it if you're outside of the U.S. Um, and then half of all proceeds that I get are being donated to the VHL Alliance to help spread awareness about this very rare cancer disease. But the cancer is doing well. We're fighting it. We're living our life. We're doing well. Um, that's why I've sort of slowed down with the uploads lately, just to sort of enjoy the last bit of 2023, both the good and the bad that's happened. I kind of reflect on my life and figure out what things I want to do differently in the future. And just being grateful for the life that I have and the audience that I have, you watching the videos, you know, I, I tell uh, people all the time, you, you don't have to donate. You don't have to do anything. You can just watch the videos and subscribe um, and especially the people that have donated uh, to the channel. Uh, one person in particular I want to shout out here. That literally, this is his name, which I think is hilarious. Uh, Seto Kaiba's bank account <laughs> donated to the channel at one point. Um, Seto Kaiba's bank account, thank you so much for, for doing that. Um, that was back when I got into my car accident. That was not my fault. Um, I was coming back from a nightclub here in Jacksonville, Florida, and someone rear-ended the back of my car. For those of you who don't know, I have a, I drive a sports car, a Dodge Challenger. Um, and so Seto Kaiba's bank account, that's the YouTube name, donated um, some money my way. Um, money was very tight at the time. It's gotten a little bit better, um, but I'm, I'm grateful to anyone that decides to do that. I'm grateful to anyone that subscribes to the channel, that watches the videos that smashes the ever-living boo-boo stain over that like and subscribe button and just supports me. I'm, I'm so grateful to all of you, especially whenever like I go to regionals and stuff. Like I'm always hoping to meet a subscriber. It hasn't happened yet, but I've met people that have like watched my Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospective series. There was a dude that I met at my locals a while back and I saw him again when I went the other day to sell some cards. And uh, he watched my retrospective series, and he didn't realize that I was Avriel R32, and it, it was super, super cool. Um, really cool guy. Um, but thinking about, too, like the negative things that happened, like almost getting banned, or thinking I was almost getting banned, um, which the story behind that was basically that the regional that I went to at the time, they thought that I had damaged property, which I actually hadn't. It looked like I did, and it was... It was a whole big thing. Um, my legal team has still told me not to really talk about it, but that is the gist of what happened. We It's resolved, and I just want to move on from it. Maybe a few years from now, we'll tell that story. Or maybe if I just need a good few views <laughs> to push my numbers up. <laughs> but all jokes aside, uh, the, the amount of support and the amount of uh, traction that I've gained on this channel over the past year has been really amazing to see I me mean, read almost 1400 subscribers and i got my best finish ever this year at an event 
16 years of playing this game competitively. I've been playing the game since it came out off and on casually, but I've been playing 16 years competitively. We got our best finish ever with a 10th place and became the self-appointed Centurion King. I don't know about you, but it's not very often that we become the king of something, even if we're self-appointed. <laughs> so... Yeah, take that for what you will. But 10th place, I mean, I've never gotten 10th place before. If you look back on my much older videos, my first ever invite was like a 47th place with a Cosmo deck profile where I went 6-3 and three at a Kissimmee, Orlando, Florida regional. 47th place, like I basically just squeezed in by tiebreakers alone. It was a top 48 cut. So it's like, okay, whatever. Um, and like other than that, like we got top 48. We got 22nd place with uh, branded Eldritch 60 card with Mystic Mine. Mystic Mind got banned this year. That's true. I forgot about that. Um, but it's it's just been so cool to be able to vlog my life and to see where I've improved, even as a player. And I've got to give credit to all of you who comment down below and show that love and support and to also give me feedback. Like if I do a deck profile and they say, hey, you should try this, or if I'm doing a discussion and one of y'all comments and says, listen, uh, you need to try this tech card. This tech card's insane. Um, of course, I got to give a thank you to my brother from another mother, Valley D, aka Big Bruce 94 or Misfit904. I'm just going to have to start calling him Derek at this point. But the problem is I have like five Derek's in my life that I'm all friends with. But y'all know him because I we've talked on the channel before. If you've watched any of like our not dual videos, but like where I post like the funny moments where like we've been talking on Discord for hours on end. Um, just such a good friend. I mean, we've been friends since I was a kid, since he was in high school, and now he's off getting a house or something and living it up in Miami or whatever you're doing, bro. <laughs> um, but the the friends that I've made along the way in this 16-plus year journey of playing this game is insane, and I, I consider all my subscribers my friends because, you know, again, with the community posts and everyone's cheering me on, like, Avery, take it one game at a time. Take it one match at a time. Don't misplay. You got this, bro. You just need the one more win. That's been really cool, being able to do that in my community posts. Like, if I'm at a regional, I'm like, guys, I'm X1. A, hey, I'm X2. Or, guys, I'm 5-0. Like, we're on a 5-0 win streak. Like, let's go. It's it's been really cool, and I'm I'm just very thankful to every single person who's decided to support this channel, and whether it's been through the retrospectives or my do not put Windows on Steam Deck video, which has like seventy thousand views at this point, which is insane. Which is funny that I have like a lot of subscribers because of that video, and yet I don't post anything tech related on the channel except for that Steam Deck video, which people are still like, "How did you not get Windows on Steam Deck?" And I'm like, "Bro, like." My Steam Deck got bricked. What do you want from me? I messed up somewhere in this equation. <laughs> so, yeah, take that for what you will. I actually did finally get myself a new Steam Deck. Uh, Valve finally got back to me. So I have a brand new Steam Deck. I'm not putting Windows on it because you can kiss my ass proper. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that no more. Not ever again. I wasted a whole day trying to do that crap. But, yeah, 70,000 views <laughs> on a do not buy Steam Deck video. <laughs> And now we've got uh, a blue Yeti mic, so now we can have good sound quality. Now I just need to get better camera quality, which let me know down in the comments. Like, the mic quality should be good, but now the camera quality sucks because now I'm back on the webcam, and sometimes it will go out of sync. So whenever my mouth is moving, it's not in sync with what I'm saying. So, But then I also have my iPhone, but yet it's easier to record videos like this because it's already on my PC. So I might just need to try and get another new webcam because I tried in the past and then it, it didn't work for some reason. It, it was really weird. But God, so much has happened this year. And actually, if you think about it, this year we got two invites in two different seasons because Branded Eldritch, I believe, was this year. And then we also got it with Centurion because Nationals happened this year. So then my invite didn't roll over and now i have my invite for the 2024 nationals so technically i got my invite twice this year i think if my math is right but either way i really feel like i've improved a lot as a player this year more than many other years and i i feel like i'm in one of the healthiest points in my life physically for sure mentally it's been a toll um i think with working that toxic radio job that we talked about a while back um and that job in of itself opening my eyes to what I'm capable of and not capable of physically because of the cancer medication that I'm on, um, you know, what my body's able to handle and what it's not. And you know what? That's okay. We just have to 
you know, not go outside our means and just do our best, right? You know, I can't work a 4 a.m. to noon shift. I can't get up at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. I got to get up more like 9 or 10 so I can sleep through the nausea. Um, things like that, right? So, but guys, I hope you know how thankful I am to each and every one of you. Whether you watch one video, five videos, a hundred videos, if I'm able to, you know, take you out of your life for five, ten minutes of your day and make it just a little bit better, I've done my job, right? That's that's the goal of this channel is to entertain. Even if, you know, maybe I piss somebody off because I said their favorite deck is booty booty butt cheeks and that master duel is garbage, aka master shits. But guys, thank you for watching. I love you very much, and I will speak with you again very, very soon in 2024.